There are people who advise us to live for the moment, and people who emphasize the importance of having a North Star. Which advice should I listen to? Both. It's important to live in the moment, but it's equally important to have goals. Since we came into this world as humans, don't you think it's better to have goals? What do you mean? Let me elaborate. The self can be divided into two parts, the mind and the body. They are intertwined, but each has very distinct characteristics. What's the difference? Well, let's start with the mind. The mind struggles to be in the moment because we have brains that can travel between location and time. Even though you are physically sitting here in, the, in front of me, your mind could be at home by thinking about what your boyfriend is up to. Our minds also use our brains to travel between past and the future. Many of us regret the past, hold grudges, or worry about the future. Our physical bodies, on the other hand, exist in the present and cannot travel between locations and time as freely as the mind. The body is instead driven by the five senses and reacts to all kinds of stimuli in our environment, so it tends to distract the mind. And when the mind is separated from the body, we become paralyzed and confused. For example, let's say you are having trouble at work. The next day, you know you have to show up at 8 in the morning, but your body won't leave the bed. Your body won't listen to your mind. Or, let's say at a wedding party, they have a great assortment of delicacies, and although your stomach is full, you get excited about the next course or the cake. This is your mind ignoring the body. Or, when you are studying for an exam, you lose focus because your body reacts to the sound a lot from your phone. Or maybe music from a party across the street. This is your body separating from the mind. But if you have a goal, the mind and body have something to align themselves to. Having something to move towards makes it easier for the mind and body to cooperate with each other. Then what kind of goal should I have? Well, it depends on what kind of situation you desire for your own future. Like what kind of job you want, what kind of person you want to be, how much money you want to earn. But I have made goals like these before and they never seem to stick. Why is it so hard to hold on to my goals? Why do you think that is? Mm, lack of motivation or lack of resources? You're not wrong, but the biggest culprit is that your goal is too small or too attainable. The farther and bigger your goal, the easier it is to evolve. Isn't it tiresome trying so hard to achieve goals? But the farther and bigger your goals are, the less friction there is between you and the you you want to be. How does that work? Our bodies like stability, functioning within the state of homeostasis. So our bodies automatically try to do the same thing we did yesterday. Once we have habits, our bodies wish to hold on to them. But if you have a big, crazy goal, your subconscious will start breaking down the patterns you have built up over time. Then uh, it will start preparing for the new trajectory. Your conscious may think this is impossible, but your subconscious will start to move towards this goal regardless. Do you want anything right now? I'd like a car. What kind of car? An Aston Martin. Well, if we were to drive through the city, I would probably never notice one because I don't have any interest in Aston Martins. I don't even know what Aston Martins look like. But you would immediately react if there was one driving by, right? 
This is your subconscious working for you. Your subconscious starts to notice and look for how you can get what you desire. So once you have set a big crazy goal, here is something else I recommend. Think of a goal that can provide happiness and peace to someone besides yourself. For example, there is a female goat at my temple named Lulu. When she first came here, she was only one month old. But after about a half a year, she became pregnant and gave birth. She was this adorable, timid goat. But as soon as she became a mother, she turned into the most brave out of all the goats. Whenever there was a dog nearby, she would stand in front with her forehead ready to give head baths. Mothers are strong, aren't they? When you have a goal for another person, you immediately become much stronger than if you were to make moves for your own benefit. Have you heard of Konosuke Matsushita? No, is he a baseball player? No, he is a founder of Panasonic. He was born in 1894 to a very impoverished family. Because of this upbringing, he made his career manufacturing products to provide convenience to those less fortunate. He had a vision for a world where every house can have access to essentials like water and electricity with a twist of a faucet or a switch of a button. The achievements that have stemmed from his goal have transcended time, geography and nationality. So your goal right now doesn't need to be so grand. But let me summarize what I have taught you about goals. First, make sure you have a goal so that your body and mind can stay in sync and they don't neglect each other. Second, make sure your goal is far enough away so that it stirs the subconscious potential that is hidden inside of you. Third, to ensure you don't let your goal slip away, make it big enough that it requires you to make drastic changes in your lifestyle. Instead of, I want to win this game, try, I want to win a gold medal in the Olympics. Or instead of, I want to lose weight, try, I want to climb Mount Fuji. Fourth, when thinking of goals, Choose one that provides happiness for others. Finally, I want you to remember this. It doesn't matter whether you accomplish your goal or not. When your body and mind work towards the goal as a cohesive unit, they will automatically begin to occupy themselves with things to do for that goal, which then leads to your knowledge and wisdom leveling up before you know it. You are already a better version of yourself because of the goal you set your path towards. Did that help clarify the benefit of goals for you? Yes, thank you Osho Taiku. I'm very excited to see how my mind and body will realign to the new goals I set for myself.